you don't pay attention to some of the news pieces concerning what's happening in space, you probably should. Why? Well, last week it was reported that a radio signal was detected, not in deep outer space, but coming from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The question is, what caused it? If it's not aliens, then why the heck should we care? Oh, I think we should care because you learn so much from doing this and we learned something about our place in the cosmos. That's the, the most important thing. It puts everything into to perspective. For nearly 40 years, Peter has been rescuing swans, but recently his rounds have taken a more sinister turn. Sure. After finding seven dead swans in this reen, Peter alerted the authorities after hearing concerns. First at 10, a bizarre mystery unfolding in Huntersville. Nearly 30 birds have been found dead and no one knows how they died. Oh, the birds have been found in one small neighborhood and tonight people are perplexed. Fox 46's Morgan Francis spoke to a local bird rescue about its suspicions into what may have happened. Astronomers are excited about what you can now see in the sky. Interesting stuff. Meteorologist Eric Garlick shows us what should we be looking for when we look up. Mars has been a big attraction the last couple of months. It's been the brightest thing in the night sky. And it has appeared bigger and brighter than it has in over two years. And you go out in the evening and you look to the high in the, in the east, that bright, bright red object there, the brightest thing in the sky, that's Mars, which just went through conjunction about a month ago, which means it was on the same side of the sun with us, the closest it comes to Earth every 26 months. Something even more rare than that will be happening later this year, though, which is why Mike and the Oklahoma City Astronomy Club are really looking forward to December 21st already. They're going to move like this through the month of December, and on the night of December 21, down the low in the southwest, they're going to be right next to each other. That has, they have not been that close since, I believe, 1653. Another thing they're looking forward to in the night sky in December is the general We're up to today's count, about 33 dead birds. They all died in Huntersville off of 77 near Gilead Road. Different kinds of birds and different sizes are dropping dead, literally. One lady went out and she said she saw the bird fall out of the tree and, and drop on the ground dead. And now the team over at Carolina Waterfowl Rescue is trying to figure out what killed them. And this isn't the first instance when it comes to mysterious circumstances involving birds here in our area. Last October, Fox 46 showed you video of Chimney Swifts flying into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Hundreds died then and many others were injured. At that time, experts believed the birds flew into the building on accident because they couldn't see the buildings, especially with the lights on. One of Iran's top nuclear scientists has been assassinated. Mohsin Fakhrizadeh died of his wounds after gunmen fired on his car. Israel and Western intelligence agencies accuse him of being one of the founders of the country's covert nuclear weapons program. Iran's foreign minister Javad Zarif was quick to point the finger at Israel. Mohsin Fakhrizadeh was assassinated on a road east of the Iranian capital Tehran. He was traveling with his bodyguards in the car with him. Witnesses said that they heard an explosion and then gunfire. Previous assassinations of four Iranian scientists between 2010 and 2012 have also been blamed on Israel, with US officials briefing the press about Israeli involvement. Fakhrizadeh is the second high-profile Iranian to be assassinated this year after General Hassan Soleimani was killed in a US drone strike leaving Baghdad airport in January. Iran responded by attacking two US military bases in Iraq. Based on the report made by the guard, First they opened fire at his car, then after 10 to 15 seconds a truck carrying explosive materials exploded near his car. Gunfire continued after the explosion. Officials admit his death is a blow to the country's defense program. All of Iran's enemies should well know. The people of Iran and those in charge of this nation are braver than to let this criminal action go without a response. In the right time, a response to this crime will be given. Mohsin Fakhrizadeh is the most senior and crucial scientist killed to date. This threatens to complicate any future talks and further increase tensions in the region. 
Also tonight, a deep space mystery has the international scientific community scratching their heads after astrophysicists intercepted radio signals coming from across the universe. And what's amazing is that these bursts, often when they are recorded, they don't repeat. And what's so incredible about this discovery is it's only the second one of these radio bursts which has been found to repeat. And this is really important because when they repeat, we get more information about them and therefore astronomers can trace back and try to understand what would cause something like this. I won't say no. <laughs> I won't say, I can never say never in this case. So these types of radio bursts have been around and known for about 13 years and some very serious people have put that forward as a, as a plausible explanation. Typically over the years there have been hundreds of these that have been discovered. They've been known to be sources from outside of our galaxy. This is the first one from inside of our galaxy. They're extremely energetic signals but by the time they reach the Earth they're very faint and they happen so quickly on the order of microseconds or milliseconds that they're, it's unusual to detect them. Finally, a mystery, yes, to round off tonight's program. What on earth is this? A shiny metal monolith has been discovered in a remote part of Utah in the United States. A very curious sighting in a remote part of the country, a mysterious metal structure that offers a lot more questions than answers. But no one knows how it got there. Initially, it was spotted from the air by state officials counting bighorn sheep. Yes, you did hear this story right. Even after they landed to take a closer look, they couldn't work out who or maybe even what was responsible. What the heck is that? The crew landed the chopper and began to investigate, finding a shiny triangular monolith standing about two earthlings high, solidly mounted to the rock. Cut it in. One of the crew members notices the monolith points toward a split in the canyon wall, perhaps suggesting the alignment might have some type of Stonehenge-like significance. It's just wild. There are many questions. Is it a rogue art installation? A practical joke? And most importantly, how did they get it here? Okay, so maybe it is human, but you can't help be reminded of mystery monoliths in movies like 2001. <laughs> and arrival. The chemical composition of their spaceship is unknown. As for the location, it, it might be one of the most remote areas in the lower 48 states. Um, there's a lot of country out there. Uh, it, it's canyon country. We don't want to, we definitely don't want our helicopter going out there needlessly. And of course, the biggest mystery is who put it there and how. That is all still under investigation. And as they used to say on the X-Files, Lindsay, the truth is out there. <laughs> It's out there. And so now we're getting this whole picture where we're getting a detection in radio of something that might be one of the most extreme events in our universe. So it's a message, but maybe not from an alien form, but a planet telling us something. Yes, exactly. Love it. All right. Intrigued by these things.